Hey guys, Pixeldell here, and welcome to day two of Hashtag Daily Valhalla. Today we'll be doing the prologue of the game, which I... Well, the first day of the prologue. So after, yeah. So basically, Kids was an April Fool's little gag thing they did. Now we're gonna... Play through the actual game now. And yeah, we're gonna get one of these videos. Every... Every day. Every day, hopefully. If I can keep track. <laughs> so yeah. Let's go straight to the prologue. Day one. December 9th. That is today. Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. Huh? What about Gil? He mumbled something about holes and pests and asked for a couple of days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean, that's not Gil. Business will be a tad different though, through the weekend. We got booked. That's a new one. Who made the booking? The Sif the Sifari Toy Company. They make toys for dogs. It's their anniversary or something like that. We usually don't reserve the bar. Why do it this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call if you need me. Sure. Well then. Uh, uh, where is it? Don't I have it? Oh, come on. Your love's a drug? No? Oh, whatever. Time to mix drinks and change lives. No, excuse me, I love a grizzly temple. Hello? A dog. Talking dog. Are, are you with the Safer Toy Company? Yeah, did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. The Grizzly Temple, right? Coming right up. Alright, let's go with Grizzly. I'm not gonna do like the way I speed run when I do all the keys and stuff. I'm just gonna do it by dragon. There you go. Thanks. This is gonna be a long weekend, isn't it? Hey, it's just the Brunson extract here produced using organic roots. I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to about that? Here, right now? No. But you should have had the information on hand. Our BTC certified bar is no different than from a fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. But you should. But we don't. But. Saying that we should over and over isn't gonna change reality. Give me something with lots of Brunson extract then. Okay. So let's something with a lot of this. How much is a lot though? Hmm. A gut punch probably. Here. What is this? Your order. This is what Brunson extract tastes like. Sorta, of, yeah. <laughs> it's not worth the effort. <laughs> no, it's not. Excuse me. That got a person. Well, as much of a person as the designated driver can be. But I mean, it's why there's so many dogs. Why dogs? Why? Well, the Corkies created the Safe Art Toy Company, have been doing a great job. So, a company run exclusively by dogs, really. And a good one of that. Their only problem is that they have not so discreet prefer preference for hiring corgis exclusively. Why? Something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Are you with them? Well, I do prefer cor corgis, but no, I mean, are you working with them? Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? Well, I take a job like this. Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. Designated driver was decide it's the closest thing to heaven. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyway. I see, well, to each their own. You gotta drink anything? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? Let's see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. A uh, sugar rush is non-alcoholic. If it's alcoholic, it has carmatrine in it, so. Here. Thanks. You sure this isn't alcoholic? Pretty sure. Okay. 
Listen, I need to know, is it really gonna be only corgis today? Is that all I'm gonna do all night? Sort of the same kind of dog over and over. The vast majority of them are Pembroke Welsh corgis. There are a couple of Cardian Welsh corgis, but the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult, so the Cardians weren't invented. So yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dogs all night. No, I mean, isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on the staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh boy. Is that a problem somehow? It's not really a problem, we've served worse than this. Left that time when an AA meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only. But just thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. Now at some point, all this rest of my life led me to serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. It's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Do you perhaps not like this job? I do, I love every second of this job, but... Dogs. It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see what your problem is with the dog, so I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a little bit. The stuff for playing pool is underneath the table. There are also darts in the box next to the jukebox. Great, thanks for the information. Call if you need another drink. Sure. I'm feeling happy, so I'll get everyone around. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a fringe weaver. Coming right up. Fringe. There you go. Still an awesome day. Yo, what's an alpha male gotta do to get some service? What may I serve you? Beer and quickly. Coming right up. This dog wants a beer. Alright, let's get a beer. There you are. You're slow. Hey boss, what's the opposite of deja vu again? Jamais vu. Yeah, that. Are you having a promotion presentation? Something like that. That dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you bored? Not really. I was playing with the darts a bit ago. I thought about playing pool. All well, the other clients are thumb challenged. Sorry if the sun's rude, but why was the dart box so dusty? You're the first person in the year or so I've been here that's actually played with darts. I think even my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs as clients? We've had worse. Have you had someone come in and knock chairs to pieces? Yes, she was testing out a new mechanical thief. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. With anecdotes like those, you think serving dogs would feel totally normal. You'd be wrong, because even then we're talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've served a dog or two in my time, but they used to come in with someone. They never talk. Now that I think about it, are these drinks bad for the dogs? Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink those chemicals. Anyway, if you want anything to drink, surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. Non-alcoholic surprise. Here you go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask you, but you talk to their callers, right? That's right. How do they work? It's not too hard, really. They're just translators. They read the dog's brains and turn their thoughts into words. Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question. Why do they wear those small tuxedos? It's good for PR. You don't say. We'll it'll be a little bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes. Why do these dogs want to get drunk? They see humans do and they think it might be fun. Just like teen son. Now if you'll excuse me. What can I serve you? Moon. Excuse me. Moon. A moon blast? Moon. A big moon blast? Moon. Alright then. This one's a big moon blast. I make it big. Uh, 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 What? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4. On the rocks and blended. Here we go. Here. Moon! Was that a good moon or a bad moon? Every Vici Picasso display. The curve spike shirt. 
You don't understand me? That's a kid too. This one's a crow spike. Yeah, let's give him all this. Let's give him all this alcohol. Oh yeah. Cleanse it. Here. Thanks. Alright, one more drink before we wrap things up. What do you want? I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything. Sugar rush. Here you are. Thanks. So, what exactly do you do? Sorry for this to ask. I guess I'm what people call an office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. But this being a dog run company, there are a lot more responsibilities. Like getting stuff off of shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. I see. And how did you end up in that position? Where did you get that offer? My neighbor is the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed thumbs. Figures. They are celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis become dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they founded this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. I can see that happening somehow. The STC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started a site for toy development. Ain't that unfortunate. Hmm? Bar Saber Sweetheart has arrived. Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. This isn't a sitcom. Ah, honey, I'm instant. Excuse me, you are. I'm the lovely Dorothy Hesse. At your sir. Wait, you're Lola, not at your service then. Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kind of. I've been coming here religiously for the past three months now. I come here to see your charming face, you say I'm just kind of a regular? For shame, honey, for shame. I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing a free drink won't solve. Won't do. Huh? You're playing hard to get. Even if I wanted to give you a drink, you're booked for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign out front or something? Hell, I found out myself just a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least 40% organic, I would give you a discount. Discount? You don't need to know. So, who booked you? This guy? This is for a toy company. What do they do? We, um, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely. Test run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I'd kid about something like that? You, you mean that if I turn around and I see dogs? Yeah, didn't you see them when you came in? I just entered without looking anywhere else but the bar. You look troubled. I'm not too much of a dog person. I even charge extra if my clients on a doggy style. Doggy. You don't need to know. I'm gonna take this ticket and trade it next Monday. I'm leaving right now. The ticket would have expired by then, though. She's like the kind of girl that would hold you to your promise regardless. Isn't that obvious? I'm gonna get the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. Alright, sir. The night's over. You, you have candles you need to return to. All done? Yeah. Boss, how do you end up being booked by dogs? I have some dogs myself. Huh. I think you told me we're booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part after all. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. Alright. Alright, now I can just go to date anytime. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, thanks for stopping by for hashtag Daily Valhalla. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and tuning in tomorrow for day three of Daily Valhalla. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy yourselves and have a good day.